Today we're going to be taking a look at the MSR D4 with the Cree XPG2 5000K. This light comes in three different versions with an XPL High, Anisha 219C, or XPG2s. The only thing included in the box other than the flashlight is a bag of extra O-rings. Moving on to the flashlight, we can see it has a good anodized coating, which is very smooth and feels great in the hand. This flashlight also features electronic soft touch switch, beryllium copper springs, temperature step down, waterproof dustproof IP67. It can hold an 18650 or with optional tubes it can hold an 18500 or 18350. It also has an AR coated glass lens. This particular model outputs 3300 lumens at startup. You can also purchase different lenses to make the beam a different shape or like more floody if you need it. Opening the flashlight we can feel the threads are very smooth and it comes well greased out of the box. The square threads make it very easy to open and close the battery tube. The spring in the tail cap isn't that big so it shouldn't have a big effect on resistance. To change out the lens, you first unscrew the head right up top there. There's a piece of glass between the lens and the head so it protects the plastic lens from being scratched. You can see this, the AR coating right there on the light. And the lens just pops right out and you can see the LEDs inside and here's the lens right here. You just switch it out for a different one. This is the completely clear one, the one for the farthest throwing. They make multiple different optics, but the one with the most change is the frosted one, which creates a big flood instead of the little bit of hot spot this one creates. It is recommended to use a 10 amp continuous discharge battery such as the 30Q. Otherwise, you won't get the brightest output you could possibly get out of this flashlight. In my testing, protected 18650s with button tops don't fit in the light. It's too long and the tail cap doesn't screw down all the way or you'll end up crushing the protection circuit. Onto the UI. Holding down the button will ramp you all the way up to turbo and holding it down again will ramp you all the way back down to moonlight. A double click will bring you straight to turbo no matter where you are in the modes. A triple click will bring you to the battery voltage check which blinks out the voltage on the light and a double click from there will bring you to the temperature check, which reads out the temperature in Celsius. Four clicks will bring you to the momentary turbo mode, where you hold down the button and it instantly goes to turbo. Six clicks will bring you to the lockout mode, where the flashlight won't turn on unless you click it six more times. Eight clicks will bring you to the beacon mode, and the beacon will turn on to whichever brightness it was previously on. As you can see, it goes to low, but then if I turn it to turbo and do it again, it goes to turbo. Finally, ten clicks will bring you to the thermal control stage. Now we will test out the lux measurement of this flashlight. The light is stationed five meters away from the door, and we're going to measure the output with this meter. This flashlight gets so hot, it stepped down almost too fast for me to get a correct measurement, but we got the 385 we were measuring for. With the clear optics installed, we get a total measurement of 9,625 lux at 1 meter, which translates to about 196 meters of throw. Now we're going to move on to some beam shots in a comparison with the Olight 500 lumen S-mini copper. For the first test, we've aimed it at a tree about 36 meters away. For the second test, we're aimed at a bigger tree about 93 meters away. Lastly, we're aimed at a tree across a baseball field 127 meters away. All things considered, the MSR D4 is an amazing light, especially for its size. And this model is only 3,300 lumens. The 4,300 lumen XPL High is definitely going to be a lot brighter. I recommend this flashlight to anybody because of its size and its simplicity to use. Alright, so that is the end of this review. I hope you liked it, and stay tuned for some more.